Napoleon Bonaparte's story began far from the gilded halls of French power, in a place where the natural beauty of the landscape was matched only by the ruggedness of its people. He was born in 1769 on the rugged island of Corsica, a land recently acquired by France. This island with its dramatic cliffs and turbulent seas was a place of fierce independence and strong cultural identity. His family of minor nobility instilled in him a strong sense of ambition and Corsican pride. They were not wealthy but they were proud of their heritage and determined to see their children succeed. Young Napoleon, a bright and restless child, devoured books on history and military strategy. He was particularly fascinated by the lives of great military leaders and the strategies they employed in battle. He dreamed of glory, little knowing that destiny had extraordinary plans for him. His imagination was fueled by the stories of ancient heroes and the possibilities of what he might achieve. Corsica's turbulent politics shaped Napoleon's early views. The island was a hotbed of political activity, with various factions vying for control and independence. He witnessed firsthand the struggle for independence against French rule. These early experiences of conflict and resistance left a lasting impression on him. This experience ignited within him a fierce sense of patriotism, but his allegiance shifted towards France, the land that held the promise of a brighter future. He began to see France not as an oppressor, but as a land of opportunity. At the age of nine, Napoleon left the familiar shores of Corsica to pursue his education in mainland France. It was a difficult farewell, but one filled with hope and determination. Military school became his proving ground. Here he was exposed to the rigors of military discipline and the complexities of leadership. He excelled in mathematics and artillery, his sharp mind quickly grasping complex strategies. His teachers recognized his potential and pushed him to excel. The French Revolution erupted just as Napoleon completed his studies, throwing the nation into chaos. The streets of France were filled with the cries of revolutionaries and the clash of ideals. This tumultuous period presented an opportunity for ambitious individuals to rise through the ranks, and Napoleon, with his unwavering self-belief, was poised to seize the moment. He saw the revolution as a chance to prove himself and make his mark on history. The revolution's ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity resonated with Napoleon. He believed in these principles and saw them as a way to unite the people and bring about a new era. He saw in the upheaval a chance to reshape France and ultimately Europe itself. His vision extended beyond the borders of France, imagining a continent transformed by the ideals of the revolution. Little did he know that his name would become synonymous with this era of unprecedented change, his actions forever etched in the annals of history. Napoleon Bonaparte's journey from a small island to the heights of power was just beginning, and the world would never be the same. Napoleon's military career began amidst the chaos of the French Revolution, a time of great upheaval and transformation in France. As a young artillery officer he quickly rose through the ranks, demonstrating exceptional tactical skills and unwavering courage. His keen understanding of artillery and its strategic use on the battlefield set him apart from his peers. His early campaigns in Italy showcased his military genius to the world. These campaigns were not just about winning battles but also about implementing innovative strategies that would change the face of warfare. Napoleon's ability to outmaneuver and outwit his opponents, often against overwhelming odds, earned him a reputation as a brilliant strategist. His knack for predicting enemy movements and exploiting their weaknesses was unparalleled. The Italian campaign was a testament to Napoleon's innovative approach to warfare. He introduced new tactics that emphasized speed and flexibility, allowing his forces to strike quickly and decisively. He employed speed, mobility, and surprise, shattering the traditional rules of engagement. His troops could move rapidly across difficult terrain, catching the enemy off guard and securing swift victories. His soldiers, inspired by his leadership and fighting prowess, achieved victory after victory. They were motivated by his presence on the battlefield and his ability to lead by example. Napoleon's victories not only secured France's borders, but also expanded its territory and influence. His conquests brought new lands under French control, enhancing the nation's power and prestige. Napoleon's success in Italy made him a national hero. His name became synonymous with military brilliance and national pride. He returned to France in a blaze of glory, his name on everyone's lips. The people saw him as a savior, a leader who could restore order and bring stability to a nation in turmoil. The young general, however, was not content with mere military accolades. He had a vision for France that extended beyond the battlefield. 
He possessed a keen political mind and understood the power vacuum left by the revolution. The country was in desperate need of strong leadership to navigate the post-revolutionary chaos. France, weary of instability, yearned for a strong leader. The people were tired of the constant upheaval and longed for someone who could bring peace and prosperity. Napoleon, with his growing popularity and ambition, was perfectly positioned to fill this void. He understood the importance of public perception and worked tirelessly to build his image as the nation's savior. He carefully cultivated his image presenting himself as the savior of the revolution, the one who could bring order to chaos. His speeches and actions were designed to inspire confidence and loyalty among the people and the military. His charisma and decisiveness captivated the French people who saw in him a beacon of hope for a brighter future. They believed that under his leadership, France could achieve greatness once more. The Italian campaign served as a canvas upon which Napoleon painted his first masterpiece of military strategy. Tasked with confronting Austria's might in northern Italy, Napoleon faced a formidable challenge. The Austrian army, seasoned and well-equipped, outnumbered his own. Yet Napoleon saw opportunity amidst adversity. He instilled in his troops an unwavering belief in their cause and their commander. His speeches, electrifying and imbued with revolutionary zeal, ignited a fire in their hearts. Napoleon's soldiers, no longer fighting for a distant king but for the ideals of liberty and equality, marched with unparalleled fervor. Napoleon's strategic brilliance lay in his ability to exploit his enemy's weaknesses while maximizing his own strengths. He recognized the importance of speed and maneuverability in the mountainous terrain of northern Italy. His troops, marching at an astonishing pace, appeared where the enemy least expected them. He employed innovative tactics, such as concentrating his forces on the enemy's weakest points, achieving decisive breakthroughs. Napoleon's victories at Lodi, Mantua, and Rivoli shattered Austria's hold on northern Italy. These triumphs not only secured France's southern border but also established Napoleon as a military leader of extraordinary talent. Section 4. First Consul, Rise to Power on the Wings of Revolution The French Revolution had overthrown the monarchy, but it had also unleashed a wave of instability and violence. The streets of Paris were filled with chaos, and the nation was in desperate need of a savior. By 1799, France yearned for a strong leader, who could restore order and security. The people were tired of the endless power struggles, and the constant threat of foreign invasion. Napoleon Bonaparte, returning from his triumphs in Egypt, recognized the opportunity to seize power. His military successes had already made him a hero in the eyes of many French citizens. Through a carefully orchestrated coup d'état, known as the Coup of 18 Brumaire, Napoleon and his allies dissolved the Directory, the weak and ineffective government that had ruled France since 1795. This bold move was a turning point in French history. In its place, they established the consulate with Napoleon as first consul, effectively granting him dictatorial powers. This new government structure was designed to bring stability and efficiency to a nation in turmoil. Napoleon, a master of propaganda, presented himself as the savior of the revolution, the one who could reconcile order with liberty. He skillfully used his image and rhetoric to win the hearts and minds of the French people. He appealed to the French people's desire for stability and prosperity, promising to heal the wounds of the revolution and usher in an era of peace and progress. His speeches were filled with promises of a brighter future. The French people, weary of turmoil and bloodshed, embraced Napoleon as their leader. They saw in him a beacon of hope, someone who could lead them out of the darkness and into a new era of greatness. He quickly consolidated his power, crushing his political opponents and establishing a centralized government. His administration brought much-needed order and efficiency to the French state. Napoleon's rise to power marked the end of the French Revolution and the beginning of a new chapter in French history, one dominated by his ambition and military genius. His leadership would shape the future of France and leave an indelible mark on the world. Section 5. Napoleonic Code, Reforming France and Beyond Napoleon Bonaparte's legacy extends far beyond his military conquests. As first consul and later emperor of the French, he implemented a series of sweeping reforms that transformed France and left an indelible mark on European society. One of his most enduring achievements was the Napoleonic Code, a comprehensive legal system that modernized and codified French law. The Napoleonic Code, enacted in 1804, replaced the patchwork of feudal laws and customs that had governed France for centuries. 
It established the principles of legal equality, religious tolerance, and the secularization of civil affairs. The code guaranteed property rights, freedom of contract, and a uniform system of justice. Napoleon's legal reforms extended beyond France's borders. As his armies conquered vast swaths of Europe, he imposed the Napoleonic Code on conquered territories. This dissemination of French legal principles had a profound impact on the development of legal systems throughout Europe and beyond. The Napoleonic Code, with its emphasis on individual rights, equality before the law, and the separation of church and state, became a model for legal reformers across the globe. Its influence can still be seen in the legal systems of many countries today, a testament to Napoleon's enduring legacy as a lawgiver and reformer.